So you've probably been waiting for the Cypher PK bundle and it officially dropped in the item shop. We have the Cypher PK bundle. Big congrats to Cypher PK. We have the icon skin here with multiple edit styles. So we got four different styles here. Mask on, mask off, and we're gonna see how all that looks in game. And that looks so sick already. You get the Oni's Curse back bling. Man, that thing looks super incredible and it's reactive as well. And that thing just looks so sick. I'm excited for that one. We have the Cypher Scimitar. Big call out to RuneScape. Let's go. I used to be a big RuneScape fan. And it's reactive. And that looks incredible. So I'm super excited. And then the Cypher Strut Emote. That thing is so good. The music is awesome. It's traversal. Yo, that looks so clean. Let's go. A couple of other cosmetics that you could have gotten for free. Also, be sure to use Cypher PK as your supporter creator code and let's get it. Now let's jump into the game. Okay, so here we have the skin free falling. The mask looks incredible, but take a look at the shoes. He's got his logo on there. That is so cool. The skin looks good, love it already. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like here on the ground. Okay, so here we have the Cypher PK skin, the base edit style. You've got the red shirt with the Oni logo there on the chest. You've got the hair, this looks so much like him. The black pants, and you're getting to see some of this in the nighttime. That back bling looks so cool. That fire on there and it lights up. The, oh my goodness, the eyes light up. That looks so good. Purple one's gonna be incredible. But yo, this is fire for a lot of the red combos. Red, black, and white. He's majorly jacked. That back bling looks super cool. On um, the next edit style, we're gonna be able to look at the reactivity on there. But let's take a look at the aiming down sights. Not losing any visibility. The back bling is a little bit bigger when you're aiming down sights, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Shotgun, SMG. All good, all good, so nothing bad there. And then we have the pickaxe here. So you have two different edit styles for the pickaxe. You have the non-reactive and the reactive. So this is the non-reactive form. As you can tell, it's the Oni mask there on the sword. The blade looks cool, it's a scimitar. It's got a little bit of fabric hanging off as well. Very, very minimal. No contrail. Let's check out the splash. That's the default splash on there. So no custom splash animation there. But let's see the equip and unequip. Sounds really good. And really, really cool pickaxe. I think the reactive one is gonna be way, way cooler. But it looks really, really good. I'm a big fan of it. Let's go ahead and run, jump. We're gonna slide and then we're gonna mantle here. Everything about this looks so good, so clean. We're already getting a good idea as to what the, his next edit styles are going to look like because if you did the reward to get the free weapon wrap, you can tell it's animated on there. It's purple, a bit of white, looks really, really clean. Here it is on the shotgun. And the SMG looks really good on the SMG. But it is just an animated weapon wrap, so it's not reactive or anything like that. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it here on a bigger scale. So here we have the customized captain running the weapon wrap on there. The flame is a nice touch. It just goes down the middle and you see the mask on there. Man, that looks really cool in the dark because the eyes light up. So you get a good visual effect of what the uh, actual animation looks like. There's not much to it though because right outside the, the middle there, there's nothing else that's going on on the skin. It looks pretty good on the pickaxe as well. There's no reactivity, just that animation. Looks cool. Um, I think it looks better on the weapon wrap, but it's a really, really nice skin. But I just wanted you to be able to see it on a bigger scale here. You also got the Cypher is here spray. Really, really nice spray with the Oni mask on there. And then you got the Cypher's mask emoticon. Animated really really cool. So those are the free rewards along with the loading screen that we'll see here in a little bit But that's the base edit style I'm gonna go ahead and put the mask on and take the back bling off just so you have an idea So let's do that. All right, so here we get a look at cyphers skin with the mask on I think I like it better without the mask at least for this edit style But as you can tell everything is exactly the same. You just got a bunch of rips on the shirt very distressed look I do like the wrist armbands there the the tape on there it looks really good that red looks great you've got a 
hints of yellow on there. The teeth look really, really cool. But I think I do like it better without that uh, mask on there. But it is pretty empty without a back bling on there. And that back bling just looks so good. I think it looks good with that back bling on there. Here we are aiming down sights. You just get better visibility. But I would actually run it with that back bling. It's really, really cool. But let's check out the next edit styles. And I'm really excited for that. So let's go. All right, so here we have the skin free falling with the reactivity on. So you have two different options on top of this that we'll go over in my locker a little bit more. So let's take a good look at Cypher's skin here. This is going to be the base minimum set. You've got the Oni mask there on the left hand side. That looks sick. You've got the armor there on the left hand side as well of his entire arm. A lot. It looks very, very aggressive, very sharp, and he's got... A glove on there with long nails. The right head side has armor, but it still has the bandages on there. And then you've got the black and purple uh, tattoo that's animated on there. You have the black pants, black shoes, so that got a lot more minimal on there. And then the Oni Max, I did want to have that on there. That mask looks really good on his face. That, uh, that dark slate effect on there looks really really good and again this is going to be the base edit style so as you start to get more eliminations you're going to progressively uh, change on there and then the mask as well is going to change so we're going to take a look at that here on a second you can already see that the weapon wrap matches this very very well so let's go ahead and take a look at the aiming down sights again that armor isn't too big on the left hand side so you're not losing visibility on there it's pretty good and the Oni mask is a little bit big but it's still pretty cool so let's go ahead and get our first elimination nothing happened there there we go so after two we already had the back bling change oh yeah I think part of it let's get into the dark over here yeah you can see part of his body already going purple yeah so it's progressive on there. His eyes look so clean. That mask is lighting up. You've got smoke. It's gone purple there. And it looks even better at full reactivity. But that looks so sick. And we have the full reactivity on the pickaxe here now. So let's see. You've got a nice contrail now. Same sound effect. But let's see if there's a custom splash. There is nice okay so that looks really good we're almost at full effect here let's go this is the full reactivity the tattoos on the arm and the chest look so cool the mask on his shoulder yo that looks super clean okay first of all take a look at the back bling at full reactivity that looks so cool yo that is scary very intimidating the horns got a lot bigger the purple smoke looks incredible and then the arm looks so good that armor the mass man they did a great job the only thing is that the horns are going to be a bit bigger so as you're aiming down sides it is going to take a little bit more but it's totally worth it that looks so stinking clean the pickaxe looks so good I love the sword pickaxes, so this one with the glowing purple is going to be incredible. Let's see if anything else happens after eliminations. The eyes glowed on the back bling, and we haven't done it yet. We got to do it. Cypher strut. Let's go. <laughs> that song is awesome, dude. And again, I think this edit style is on another level. I've been seeing great things about it on social media and I'm excited that I'm finally seeing it here in game. But let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like without the back bling. Okay, so here we have Cypher's full reactivity on. This is an edit style that you can select, so it looks really good. And then we have it with no back bling. It looks really cool. I love the straps on there, so that adds a little bit more. The tattoos with that animated effect. Uh, this is a skin that you can run this edit style with no back bling and you'd be completely fine because it looks really good without it. Personally, I love the Oni mask, especially at that full reactivity. It is a bit bulkier, but this is it without the mask as well. I think this edit style, the purple, like everything is hyper aggressive. So having that mask on there makes it even more 
intimidating. So I think you got to run it with the mask on there personally, but it looks super, super clean. But that's going to be it. Let's go to my locker so I can give you my final thoughts on this entire bundle. So we got to start off with the base edit style. This looks really good. I'm a big fan of the red and black. I love that he has his logo on there. Very minimal skin, very low key, and it looks exactly like him. The mask is pretty cool. I like all the attention to detail on there. You have the reactive skin here with the mask on and with the mask off. And if you don't want to run the reactive and you want to just, just go the base style, you can run it like this. The possessed style if you want to start off full reactive. There's even smoke coming off of his hair. So that's a cool touch that I didn't see in game. Tire skin, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Now we have the back bling here. So this looks really, really good. You can have reactivity off and it just stays red. So if you're going to be running a red combo, uh, red and white combo, red and black combo, you have something really cool here. I just wish that they would have had the option for you to just have the different styles. So you can pick that, pick that one, and then pick the other one like they did with the skin. I think if it had all the edit styles, I would have given a 9 out of 10. So I'm going to stick with an 8 out of 10. Then we have the pickaxe, reactivity off and reactivity on. I love the attention to detail. You've got the straps on there. The mask looks really cool. And that flame looks incredible. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. Cypher Strut Emote. Definitely, definitely a cool one. I can see myself running this one a lot. The music is really, really cool. I love that it's traversal. I'm going to give this one... I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 as well. We have the Cypher is here spray. You had the chance of getting this from participating in the cup. All you had to do was get 8 points. That's literally all I did. And I was able to get the spray on here. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Looks really, really cool. The Cypher's Mass Emoticon you can get from doing challenges. Not a big fan of emoticons, but I like that it's animated. I give it a 7 out of 10 as well. The Dark Dragon Weapon Wrap looks super cool. You have the Oni Mask there at the end. It's animated. Looks super clean. Purple is a big color in Fortnite, so you can definitely run this with a lot of different combos. I'm going to give this Weapon Wrap an 8 out of 10. And then we have the Oni's Ascension Loading Screen very very well done i love the mask i love that you can see the pickaxe him going through the progression on there looks really really clean i'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. so if you're on the fence about getting the cypher pk bundle i would definitely recommend you getting it it's definitely clean definitely on a new level and you have a lot of different options and if you haven't yet be sure to follow me at twitch.tv slash ruben esparza but be running this skin on stream so make sure you hop on and let me know you came from the youtube video I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was beneficial. Hope it helped you out. If it did, be sure to hit that like button and show your support. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you know every single time we upload. Make sure you turn on notifications. But that's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.